Okay, this is Brian Young, and I'm doing a SCX Tech video on the SPC-1 Slotted Digital Version Pro Hand Throttles, okay? These are sweet, all right? Mm. And I'm going to go over the basics of how to use it. I'm not going in depth. I'm not going to go through every page of this 24-page uh, uh, instructions. I'm just going to show you the basics. The first thing you do when you take it apart or open it up is you need two pieces out. You're going to need the SCP-1 splitter cable. Okay, it doesn't say SCX on it, but it's a base uh, base power supplier because it's it's two um, splitters, okay, for double splitters. And then you're going to need the Cat5 cable that does say, say SCX on it, okay? The rest of the stuff, put it back in the bag, put it back in the boxes. You're never going to need it because if you don't have anything else, SCX, you don't need it, okay? So that's it. The next thing you do is you unscrew the base plate on the hand throttle, the trigger. You're going to pull that apart. And you're going to obviously insert one end of the Cat5 cable in here. Okay, it snaps right in there. Then you're going to set the dip switches, which are in the instructions on page 6, to SCX pit box, or if you just have the central unit, uh, the pits are, are, are set the different way, okay? Alright, so you just look here, set the dip switches to where they're supposed to be. Then you just stick in the, the unit again. You screw it in, like this, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the Cat5 cable end of your power and you're going to plug it into a hand throttle, whichever port, one, two, or three. Then you're going to plug in the red part. Well, first you're going to take the splitter and you can plug that into the track. And then plug in the power part to it says um, power base, okay? Then you plug in the hand throttle. To the other part, the or the red part. See how that split? Okay. Now here's a sweet. So come over here. Now, if you hear the different features of the hand throttle, okay, you have your trim, your max speed, your brake, your lane switching buttons, and then your automatic brake. Okay. So if I hold that in, look at the car. There's no power. But if I let go, there's power. So it's an instant brake. So you can instantly brake. Okay, which is sweet. Now this button here is really cool because this one, you can regulate your power to be fast or slow. So you can, you know, you not have to be full power on the track. And then your lane switching buttons, okay, by pushing the lane switching button in, your lane switch. Got your lights all already, of course, that's kind of the base. And then you have your automatic... Uh, um, uh, lane switch. Well, actually, this one is if you push it in, your car will switch lanes at every switch. Or this one is normal; it'll switch lanes normally. I don't set it up as an oval, so I can't show you that feature. But this is the slotted digital hand throttle, the SPC01. Um, that's the part number, SPC01D. Okay. This thing is sweet. Now they're a little expensive, but hey, listen, if you already got digital you know that it's worth it. When you get one of these, you're going you're gonna to covet this thing because I already have. Okay, You can get them anywhere. Uh, actually, the um, Hot Slot sent me this one to do a test on, so um, you're going to want to get one of these. These things are pretty cool. This is Brian Young with SCX Digital. Uh, just another thing to make SCX Digital better and better. SCX Digital, Brian Young out.